Uh, a couple of comments on the uh, PCSOs. I just say I was interested in the distinction that Brian drew between the, the leafy suburbs and the inner city. My experience in the inner city is that they seem to have minimal impact, and there are many of them in real danger of being a laughing stock. I have seen them taunted, I have seen them uh, uh, verbally abused, and so on, and they seem to be able to do nothing about it. That's in that particular area. So, but I'm interested in that distinction. I think the whole thing about antisocial behaviour, I just want to tell a story, a true story, which I think comes back to what I've been originally arguing for. I went along, uh, antisocial behaviour in my particular area, where the kids are hanging around on the streets, they're hanging around the stairwells, and it is, and so the local, the, the local authorities decided they're going to get together a group of people to tackle antisocial behaviour by youth. And as a local councillor, I was invited to go along there. And there were some very good, very nice people. They were all professional people. We had people from the youth service. We had people from social services. We had people from the schools. We had the police. We had not one single parent. And there we are living on the estate. They're trying to tackle antisocial behaviour. They didn't go back. In my view, they did not go back to the root. And when I said, well, what about the parents? Quite clearly, the implication was, no, no, this is only a meeting for the professionals. Nice people, the professionals, but the majority of them will disappear off out to Essex or wherever it is at night time and leave the less, less, rest of us, including parents, living on the estate. We have to get back to the parents, we have to get back to the families and say that is where you start to deal with antisocial behaviour. It's not the total solution, but unless you get back to the root of it, all the rest is just surface and superficial.